After studying this module, you shall be able to know the concept of emotional creativity, to identify the criteria for judging emotional creativity, to learn the individual differences in emotional creativity, and to analyze the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity. Hello students, today we'll be talking about emotional creativity. After studying this module, you shall be able to know the concept of emotional creativity, identify the criteria for judging emotional creativity, learn the individual differences in emotional creativity, and analyze the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity. Introduction The relation between emotions and creativity is very complex. In psychology, creativity is considered among higher thought processes, whereas emotions are treated as lower thought processes. In terms of physiology, creativity is considered a neocortical activity, whereas emotions are seen as emerging in the brain's paleocortical and subcortical regions. Creativity is regarded as a late evolutionary development, whereas emotions are considered to have pre-human animal heritage. Emotions and creativity have long been associated in popular conception. Yet, the relationship between emotions and creativity remains fraught with ambiguity. The idea of emotional creativity is a straightforward extension of a social constructionist view of emotions. In his book, Varieties of Religious Experience, William James stated that when a person has an inborn genius for certain emotions, his life differs strangely from that of ordinary people. Otto Rank opined that many neurotic syndromes reflect creative impulses that are expressed in detrimental ways. The idea of emotional creativity is a straightforward extension of a social constructionist view of emotion. In his book, Varieties of Religious Experience, William James, 1902 and 1961 stated that when a person has an inborn genius for certain emotions, his life differs strangely from that of ordinary people. Otto Rank, 1936-1978, opened that many neurotic syndromes reflect creative impulses that are expressed in detrimental ways. A mutual relationship exists among emotional syndromes, states and responses. Emotional creativity may start with a change in the beliefs that help in constituting emotional syndromes or with a change in behavior. Alterations in beliefs and rules may follow, whether changes occur from the top down or bottom up, creativity is eventually judged by its product. First, emotional creativity may involve the effective application of a pre-existing emotion or combination of emotions. Second, emotional creativity may involve the transformation of a standard emotion to meet the needs of the individual or group in a better way. Third, emotional creativity may involve the development of new forms of expression with changes in the beliefs and rules. Emotional syndromes refer to phenomena described by abstract nouns like anger, grief and love and their meaning depends on culturally specific beliefs about the nature of emotion. Emotional syndromes are similar to social roles. The relevant beliefs and rules are internalized to form emotional schemas according to which a person responds. However, there are wide individual differences in this regard. An emotional state refers to a temporary disposition 
to respond in a manner in accordance with an emotional syndrome. An emotional state is activated when a relevant emotional schema is activated by external conditions. Emotional schemas may be preformed in the mind of the individual. When the situation is unusual, emotional schemas are constructed as an episode developed or unfolds. Emotional responses are the responses of a person in an emotional state. Some of the examples of emotional responses are hitting, running, physiological changes, expressive reactions, etc. Everell 1999 asserted emotional creativity encompasses four criteria. 1. Novelty A response may be novel in comparison to past or typical behavior. Novelty implies that something novel or new is brought into being. Novelty presumes a standard of comparison. A novel response may sometimes be bizarre. However, to be considered creative, the response must also be effective. 2. Effectiveness To be considered creative, a response must not only be novel but also be beneficial to the individual or group. Emotional innovation may disturb the individual and or society in the short run. Thus, the effectiveness of an emotionally creative response must be taken into account and its potential long-term benefit or harm must be considered. 3. Authenticity For a response to be considered creative, it should be an authentic expression of the person's own beliefs and values. This criteria emphasized by Arnhem 1966 with respect to works of art applies equally well to emotions. 4. Preparedness Long-term emotional preparation based upon understanding one's own emotions and sensitivity to the emotions of others. The evidence for emotional creativity can be divided into three main categories. 1. Cultural variation Some of the best evidence for emotional creativity comes from cultural differences in emotional syndromes. Much of the cross-cultural research on emotions has involved facial expressions and shows the universality of basic emotions. It has also involved linguistic expressions which have tended to favor cultural specificity. Expressive reactions and verbal behavior are two of the many components which when taken together help constitute emotional syndrome. Individual Differences in Emotional Creativity Some people attempt to understand their emotions and are sensitive to the emotions of others. Such people are, on average, emotionally creative. A 30-item Emotional Creativity Inventory, ECI, has been constructed by Everell, 1999. Seven of the items refer to emotional preparedness. The remaining items assess the three criteria for emotional creativity. Fourteen items refer to the novelty of emotional experiences, five to effectiveness, and four to authenticity. ECI can be broken down into three facets. The first facet comprises the preparedness items, the second facet the novelty items, and the third facet a combination of the effectiveness and authenticity items. Scores on the ECI have been related to a variety of behavioral and personality variables. High scorers are better able to express unusual emotions symbolically in stories and pictures. According to Macrin, 1992, this ECI is most closely related to openness to experience but is independent of extraversion and neuroticism. Scores on the ECI are negatively related to alexithymia and positively to self-reported spiritual or mystic-like experiences. People who score high on ECI are also better able to benefit from solitude, which is usually associated with creative endeavor. Persons with 
alexithymia suffer from a poor fantasy life, a reduced ability to experience positive emotions, and poorly differentiated negative effect. Taylor, 1994. Emotionally creative people differ from people with alexithymia in every way except one that both have difficulty identifying and describing their emotional experiences. But the source of the difficulty is different for the two. For people with alexithymia, the difficulty is due to a poor inner life. For emotionally creative persons, it comes from the complexity and originality of their experiences. From a psychological perspective, there are two ways of looking at spirituality. The first is as an emotional state represented in extreme form by mystical experiences. The second is an attribute of other emotional states in that they have features in common with mystical experiences. Three features are characteristic of mystical states and hence to a spiritualization of the passions, a sense of vitality, connectedness and meaningfulness. 1. Vitality Spirituality usually implies a powerful force having creative properties. Spirituality also involves a creative attitude. A free-spirited person is open to new experiences and adventurous. Vitality can also be manifested in more tranquil states like meditation which provides opportunities for growth and inner exploration. 2. Connectedness One of the most important features of mystical experiences is the feeling of union with another. Sexual love and the love of a parent for a child are common examples. 3. Meaningfulness Spiritual experiences are often life transforming. Hence, spiritualizing the passions requires that one's emotions are integrated with the beliefs and values that help constitute a person's evolving sense of self, which is a creative process. The microgenesis of emotional episodes, the beliefs and rules that help in organizing an emotional syndrome leave room for improvisation as an episode develops. Methodologically, it is difficult to study emotions as they unfold. A study by Morgan and Everill, 1992, illustrated some of the issues involved, especially as related to emotional creativity. Role of Emotional Creativity in Organizations Organizations are emotionally laden environments. There is a prominent role for affect in a range of organizational processes. Recent empirical research has also validated effective influences on a number of work outcomes including task quality, productivity, and efficiency. George, 1991, Straw, Sutton, and Pelt, 1994. However, relatively less attention has been paid to organizational creativity as influenced by affect. Creativity has been regarded as a key to enduring advantage in an organization. Therefore, creative responses by employees at all levels in the organization are considered very important and hence much research has been focused on factors affecting it. However, there has been only limited progress in understanding the role of affect in the workplace. An exploratory study examined the relationship between American and Chinese MBA students' emotional intelligence, constructive thinking ability, emotional creativity, and leader behavioral preference. Humphreys, Xiao, and Sadler, 2008. Results showed a significant positive correlation between emotional intelligence and the desirability of transformational leadership but no such relationship was found with constructivist thinking ability and emotional creativity actually exhibited a negative association. Significant differences were found between the American and Chinese samples on emotional intellect and emotional creativity with Americans scoring higher 
on the emotional intelligence scale but the chinese exhibiting higher scores on the emotional creativity measure in a study 91 volunteers were recruited from a variety of psychology classes students were encouraged to participate if they considered themselves to be spiritual or religious in a secular sphere the opposite of a quest religious orientation would be authoritarianism at least to the extent that the latter involves unquestioning adherence to received authority along with eci a short scale of authoritarianism lank 1955 was included in the present study the correlation was found to be minus 0.21 it means that emotional creativity is negatively correlated with authoritarianism relationship between emotional creativity and emotional intelligence there is a considerable overlap between the concepts of emotional intelligence and emotional creativity both presume sensitivity to and knowledge about emotions as well as the ability to respond effectively and authentically one major difference is in terms of the potential for novel responses in the case of emotional creativity on a theoretical level the relation between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity is less clear everell 1999 reviewed the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity in the same way as the relationship between cognitive intelligence and cognitive creativity this implies that a certain degree of intellect is needed for creativity to exist but intellect does not ensure creativity thus people who are emotionally creative must also be to some degree emotionally intelligent the reverse however is not necessarily true everell 2004 whereas emotional intelligence refers to the ability to recognize and regulate emotions emotional creativity envelops individual differences in the ability to experience new or unique emotions everell 1999 according to salovey mayer and colleagues ei comprises of four related branches the ability a to identify accurately emotions in oneself and others b to use emotions to facilitate thought and action c to understand the meaning or significance of emotions d to manage emotions in oneself and others one can observe the relationship of emotional intelligence to emotional creativity in two ways using emotions that is emotional information may facilitate thinking and creativity in understanding emotions and managing emotions different emotions may be combined and expressed in unusual ways a difference between the two concepts is as follows emotional intelligence as assessed by the meis emphasizes conformity to the standards of the group rather than novelty and authenticity hence even though consensus scoring may be a valid indicator of effectiveness it underrates the importance of novelty and authenticity due to this shortcoming mayer et al 2001 noted that the meis is a measure of convergent rather than divergent thinking feeling it is also known that some degree of abstract intelligence is necessary for creativity in a given domain however there is only a modest relation between intelligence as measured by iq tests and creativity the same is true of the relation between emotional intelligence and creativity three studies examined the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity and whether they predicted creative behavior it was hypothesized that the relationship between emotional intelligence and emotional creativity corresponds to the relationship between cognitive intelligence and creative ability intercorrelations and confirmatory factor analysis supported the hypothesis 
it was also hypothesized that emotional creativity but not emotional intelligence would correlate with behavioral creativity self report measures of emotional creativity significantly correlated with laboratory and self reported creativity measures in both studies while ability measures of emotional creativity only correlated with self reported artistic activity emotional intelligence was uncorrelated with creative behavior theoretically the difference between the two is less clear since the relation between cognitive intelligence and cognitive creativity is poorly understood sternberg and o'hara 2000 described four ways in which theorists have seen the relation between cognitive intelligence and creativity creativity is a subset of intelligence intelligence is a subset of creativity creativity and intelligence are partially or even fully overlapping sets and creativity and intelligence are independent abilities emotional creativity plays an important role in many domains of life it is crucial in organizational effectiveness it is also an important predictor of social and psychological well-being neurotics demonstrate behaviors which are contrary to vitality connectedness and meaningfulness and are also contrary to the three criteria for emotional creativity hence some of the techniques used to foster creativity might be incorporated into psychotherapy these techniques fall into four broad categories preparedness motivation imagination and self monitoring emotional creativity has its potential drawbacks as well as benefits in emotional creativity familiar ways of responding may be disrupted and traditional values discarded the society resists changes in emotion and values the society feels that emotional innovations may be harmful hence some weeding out is necessary hence if selection criteria are too lenient anarchy will follow and if too severe it will lead to stagnation a proper balance between anarchy and stagnation is difficult to attain summary Creativity is considered among higher thought processes whereas emotions are treated as lower thought processes Emotions and creativity have long been associated in popular conception A mutual relationship exists among emotional syndromes states and responses Everill 1999 asserted emotional creativity encompassed four criteria novelty effectiveness authenticity and preparedness the evidence for emotional creativity can be divided into three main categories cultural variation individual differences and intero repeat the evidence of emotional creativity can be divided into three main categories cultural variation individual differences and microgenesis of emotional episodes there is a prominent role for affect in a range of organizational processes however relatively less attention has been paid to organizational creativity as influenced by affect there is a considerable overlap between the concepts of emotional intelligence and emotional creativity emotional creativity plays an important role in many domains of life but has its potential drawbacks